Let's practice named ranges in Excel 2013. Begin by typing out some bills and their amounts. And normally, when you type in a total, so I'll click on, type in the word total, you would go something like equals sum bracket, and you would highlight these actual numbers and press enter. So that's one way of doing it. Now notice how we're referring here to cell D9. Um, and this time we're going to try it a different way. I'm going to press delete. I'm going to actually, instead of uh, doing it the traditional way, I'm going to actually highlight these numbers and give these range of numbers an actual name. If you click in this little name box, click here, let's type in bills and press enter. So now this range of cells refer, is, is referred to at by bills. So if I go equals sum bills, and notice how if I type in the letter B I L, Excel gives me a hint gives me a hint of what it should be. I can even double click it and it will fill in the rest. So if I say equal sum bills, you can see that's another way of doing it. So the idea of referring to a group of cells by a name is is interesting and powerful. Let's uh, try one more thing here. What if we forgot a bill? If I right click on the number, one of the rows here and go insert and let's add a bill called internet and say the internet bill is fifty dollars notice how the total automatically updated the, the amount updated even though I'm referring to bills so here if I highlight the, all the, the bills here uh, we are still referring to bills